We want to show you another life look from Platte Avenue on the east side of Colorado Springs. This is around Tijuana. Uh, firefighters had to rescue a driver from flooding this evening, the very uh, same area where a rescue happened last Thursday. And we are continuing to track a lot of heavy rain falling around Colorado Springs, flooding area roads. And of course, the motto that we like to follow is turn around, don't drown. You just don't know how deep that water is. So driving through it is always creates a dangerous situation. Flash flood warnings currently in effect for Colorado Springs. Take a look at this video that was submitted to our Facebook page. This from Cibron Hills, and you can see the water. They're ponding on the roads. Thank you to Julie for sending that picture in to us. Now, thankfully, the rain as of right now isn't falling as intensely as it was earlier this evening. However, we're still tracking a lot of heavy rain impacting an area that has already seen about one to two inches of rain so far tonight. Flash flood warnings again in effect until 1130. This is for Colorado Springs, not for the Waldo Canyon burn scar. As of right now, the burn scar not included in that warning. Highway 24 remains open. It's right in Colorado Springs where we have the most problems. It's around Fort Carson and Stratmore where we have the heaviest rain shown by those areas of red. And I want to show you what this storm has been doing because even though it is moving, as soon as it moves out of one area, we get another area of the storm that redevelops in that exact same spot. So in actuality, it's just not really moving all that much. It's continuing to produce heavy rain in the same areas where we have been tracking it here for about the past one to two hours. And this storm is going to keep on producing more heavy rain. You can see a bit of a tail starting to develop just on the southwestern side of where the original rain was falling. So we are going to continue tracking that as it pushes off toward the north and east. We are also tracking some rain falling around Teller County starting to push into Woodland Park once more. I want to show you too that around Pueblo we're starting to get a few storms popping up. Also, these storms are traveling very slowly, so we do have the potential to get quite a bit of rain around Pueblo yet tonight too. Taking a look at your skycast, the areas of Yellow Shore where we have the heavy rain developing out there tonight, and it looks like it's going to stick around here for the next couple of hours. After midnight, we should start to see these storms eventually sliding off toward the east. By 3 a.m., they should push across the plains, and then by 7 a.m., as you're heading out the door, for the most part they will come to an end. We are expecting mostly cloudy skies to start you off tomorrow morning with a bit of sunshine around lunchtime, but then as we take you into tomorrow afternoon, well, the thunderstorms are back. Starting at 2 o'clock, we'll start to see that rain developing. Storms tomorrow will be capable of producing heavy rain once again with the band of storms moving off across the plains through 6 o'clock. We'll keep the rain around through about 9 o'clock, but then by 10 o'clock, with the exception of a few storms up across the high country, it'll come to an end. Storms tomorrow could become strong to severe, so be sure to stick with us. We'll keep you ahead of the storms out there tomorrow. 70s and 80s, four high temperatures, of course, before the rain moves in. I want to point out we'll have storms for the next couple of days, but then drier, hotter weather moves in late this week and through this weekend with temperatures in the mid 80s over the weekend. In Pueblo tomorrow, your high temperature 86 degrees. 90s are back though, and we'll have plenty of sunshine Thursday through the weekend and into early next week. It is going to get hot on Friday, that's for sure. 96 in Pueblo on Friday, Canyon City looking to heat up to 92. We'll have a dry couple of days Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. And Teller County, just a couple more days of this soggy weather before we get a bit of a break. 80 degrees will be your high temperature on Friday. We'll spend the weekend in the 70s, but again, can't stress it enough. We are continuing to track heavy rain. It's likely going to last here for the next couple of hours with this storm. Mm. So flash flood warnings in effect until 1130. And of course, we'll keep you out of the storm even after the show ends. We'll still use the commercial breaks. We'll keep you updated. So stick with us. And Springs firefighters now saying that there's more street flooding this time at Quail Lake Road, 3300 block.